Hello, I am Stephanie Joy, the attorney at All Things Social Security and Joy Disability Law. Your video is about to start. I just wanted to remind you that if you click the join button below, you can learn more about the memberships offered at a very affordable price that can give you a little more direct attorney answers to your questions. Have a great day and enjoy the video. Good afternoon. Okay, I thought this would be a share for others. A viewer brought it up, but I thought it might apply or be um, an issue others have wondered about. So I'm going to throw it out there, okay? I did provide this in the comment, um, but for those of you that probably didn't see it, here you go. Okay, so what happens? You're a divorced parent. Uh, you have kid or more, more than one. Um, let's just say you have one and dad, uh, who you're divorced from, becomes disabled or retired you're probably aware that your child, if he's a minor um, or disabled and became disabled under 22, but let's not confuse the issue, um, that child would be eligible for a dependent benefit on the work record of the father, just as that child would be eligible for such a benefit if you yourself retired or became disabled and were insured for SS and collecting. So the question arose when the person, I guess, went to apply for the benefit for their child. In this case, the child is disabled um, and perhaps over 18, but was disabled before the age of 22. Um, but either way, it, it would still be the same concept. So the custodial parent went to file for the benefit based on the other parent who they are divorced from's work record. And they were told um, that the child would not get the full amount he would otherwise be eligible for. Say it was 50%. Um, and that was because there were other people drawing on that work record of the divorced father. Um, what is what is typically happening is that the the other parent, the one you're divorced from, may have other children. Maybe they went on to have, you know, um, children in a second marriage and those children are still minors. They are going to be eligible for the dependent, dependent benefit, just like your own child with that father. And it could be gender switch guys, nothing gender, gender oriented here. Um, so yeah, the, it, it's, it's the family max that we talk about. Um, so if dad's collecting 100% of his disability or retirement benefit, his family max is going to be another 50% to say maybe about 80% higher than that, depending. Um, and it, that depends on what his lifetime earnings were. Um, a lower earner will get an extra 50%. A higher earner would get an extra 80%. And those family members have to split that 50 to 80%. You follow it? Okay, so if he has two new kids with a new with a new spouse and has the one kid from the prior spouse, those three children, if that's the only people collecting on that record, would take a third of whatever that balance is that's left over in the family max after dad has taken his 100%. Follow? Um, it could be, um, yeah, I think that would be it. So, or if there was four, you know, two and two, three and one, two and one, whatever. Yeah, you're not gonna, it's not like each kid is guaranteed 50%. That is what they are eligible for if there is enough in the pot for that. The pot doesn't grow just because you decide to have more kids. The pot is what the pot is. The family max is what it is. And if you're gonna have more kids, each one's gonna get a smaller portion. That is the way that goes. Um, trying to think if there was anything else in that. That's it. You know, it's going to get, it's going to be slimmed down. So new marriages with new kids, slim down those benefits. All right. Everything's prorated, so to speak. All right. Hopefully uh, no one's going to be starving based on that, you know, sharing of the family max. Have a great one guys. Bye. Hey, what are you doing here? Oh, there's another one attached? I guess there's another one attached. All right, stay tuned. See you guys later.
Good evening. You'll probably see this in the morning. <clears throat> um, responding to a question um, from a viewer. It's 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 somewhat basic, but it gets a little confusing, I suppose. How to what age are children eligible for um, benefits? Now, remember, you have to separate SSI from Social Security. So for a child to be on SSI, he has to be under 18 and have met the SSI disability criteria. And then also the non-medical criteria, which is basically the financial needs-based criteria. Okay, that's SSI. SSI children means the child is disabled. For social security, that's usually when they're talking about dependent benefits, like uh, based off of a parent's work record and the parent is now collecting disability or retirement or the parent has passed away and there is potentially a survivor benefit for a child, at what age can the child collect that up until? Generally, the age is 18. However, if they're still in high school, it can go up to 19. However, if they are SSA proven to be disabled between the ages of 18 and 22, which sometimes it's from childhood and up the board, but at some point after 18, um, or if they're, yeah, if they're found to be disabled before the age of 22 and continue to be disabled after 22, um, they can collect the DAC benefit. So that is a child's disability benefit based on the parent's work record. It could be, again, a disabled parent or a retired parent or a deceased parent. And that will go on as long as the child remains disabled and or doesn't otherwise make himself ineligible. Because remember, DAC has some particular rules, including marriage. Um, and, you know, if you ever become non-disabled pursuant to earning too much, you, as of now, you generally can't get DAC back. It's like a once you cut it off, it's over. For now, anyway, I think people are trying to change that. But so again, um, 18 and under, or if they're still in high school, up to 19. Uh, older than that, if they are proven to the SSA standard to be disabled before the age of 22. Okay, does that answer the question? Um, I'm trying to think there was something else that might be helpful for that. Mm, yeah, no. Okay, so that's it. Those are the ages, by and large. Okay, hope that helps. Bye now.